Right. First lesson, we are discussing about the wonders of the living world. Right. That means there are so many that uh, marvelous things around us. Right. First of all, we are discussing about the word for environment. Now, this one you are learning in that scholarships also, Parisari. Then what did we learn there? That means the environment, first of all, we need to understand the word. What is mean by environment? What is environment? We mentioned environment is our surrounding, including us. Our surrounding. What do we have around us? All the things. With us, we call that what are the environment, right? So there are so many things in the environment. Basically, you can see some animals, then plants and man-made things. Man-made things means just like toys and equipment and everything. Yes, work, work, even that vehicles, trains, and everything. Then we mention some some areas. Some of the areas that we are that involving in our day-to-day -day life. One is our classroom. There are so many things in our classroom. Now here you can identify many things in our classroom. Then we discuss what are the things that we can identify at the town. When you come to this class, you are passing the town. Now what is this town? That is Pandare. So there are so many things around us, vehicles, buildings, people, shops, textiles, right, we mentioned it. Even policemen there, right? And next part, we mentioned what are the things that we can identify in the forest. Hmm? Various kind of animals, then rocks, waterfalls, rivers, even grass, large trees, you know, snakes, we can identify. Right. Then after that, we mention what are the things that we can identify another environment. Now, during the vacation, where we like to go? To the beach. The people, those who live around the beach and low country, they like to come here in up country. Up country people try to go to the they like to visit beach area. Beach area people like to visit up country, lower area. So we like to stay some hot areas with the beach, no? Why? Because in our day-to-day -day life, we do not have that chance. But those people got the chance, they do not have this climatic condition. Mm -hmm. Somewhat misty, a eh? little bit cold, that means they like to visit here. That's why in uh, vacation days, Pandaraid, El Nuaradia, filled with southern province, western province, Vehicles. No? Right. Then here, today we are going to discuss another part. What is that? All the things around us, that means within the environment, we can divide into two major groups. We can divide into how many groups? Two groups there. What are they? One is we call as living things, and other one we call living things. Right? Who are living things we call? Who are, what is living things? Laman, what is living things? Living things means we call, what are they? Yes. Those who have life we call living things. Then non-living things? Right. Now tell me what are the living things you can see it here? Oh, right. Now here some students they are mentioning plants are non-living, but remember plants also, what are they? Living things. In a gasolata, manatine. Life pick up the manatine or kill matter. Right? So, non living things. 
Right now, those are we call that. What are they? Non living things. Right now, look at here. Who are living things? Things which have what are they? Living creatures. Now, can we highlight that one? Right? What we have to highlight? Which have living creatures are called what are they? Yes? Did you write that one? Then that is we called as what are they? Living things. Okay? <coughs> Right. Okay, right. Highlight. So you have highlighted. So you write like not, no? Right. What are the living features? Now just imagine, now tell me, this is this a living thing or non-living thing? This one? This one? How do you say? Why you say this is non-living? Tell me one reason. Ah, it cannot move. Another one. What is? Yes, that right. It cannot move. Only that. Ah, cannot grow. It is not growing the same size every day. Another one. Another piece. It's not. Ah, it's. Do not use that any language or any sound. Produce sound. No. Another one. That means no communication. Yes. Only that. Is it easy? No. No nutrition. Is it uh, mentioning? Uh, may I go to toilet? No excretion. Is it sensitive when I that uh, touching this one hard? Is it uh, screaming? Oh, I'm paining like that. Tagger, did you know? No sensitivity. Right? Okay. Now, those features we can identify among living organisms. They are called as life functions or living features. What are they? Life functions or living features should be there. What are they? Now here you can mention living features or life functions. Those who have with living beings. In a GV to put them in a luxury. One is what is that? Growth. What is growth? What is locomotion? What is locomotion? Moving from one place to Another, that is being called, what is that? Respiration. Yes, they produce in the energy within the body. Do they respirate? No. Then we call, what is that? Sosanaya. Expression. Right? Then reproduction. Is it making small pins? May I pet away the nose? Right? Then nutrition. What is it? Feed with the food. Right? So these are the words. What are they? Now read the words, Ramayana. Growth, locomotion, respiration, excretion, reproduction, and nutrition. Right? One name is single word entity, Israel, Yadakta, Tamak, Nayandi.
respiration so funny that means now we produce energy within our body or you can use this uh, words for new book that means that the small notebook do you have a small notebook did you get it or something should put up the other thing ऑर्गनिजमिस्ट राइट हाउ डू वी राइट दैट वन It is easy. Put a what is living thing here? Things we have living features. Then what is non living? Non living. I am mentioning things we do not have. What is the additional word here? Do not. Here things which have living features. Now here we are mentioning things we do not have living features. That is easy. What is the word we are mentioning? Do not. They do not have that one. So let highlight that one. What we have to highlight here? Line. What is that? Which do not have living features. Which do not have living features. We call them as what are they? What do we call them? None. Living things, right now. Can you tell me two non-living things? Raise your hands. Two non-living things. One, yes. Two, two things. Pen, okay. Yes. Eraser. Door. Door. Whiteboard. Whiteboard. River lake. River lake. Good. Highlight. Ah, highlight pencil sharpener. Yes. Jacket skirt. Jacket skirt. Ah, pencil. Pencil. Pencil measure. Yes. Hotel shop. Yes, hotel shop. Pencil box book. Pencil box book. Phone, phone, laptop. Ah, phone, laptop. Ah, fan. Yes. Yeah. What are the non-living things in the environment? Now you are that telling everything in here, no? right? Wait, wait, wait. Right, right. Okay, sit down, sit down. One thing up. Yes. I need what is that? The things in the environment, natural environment. Tell me one. No, not the thing. Now you are always explaining within the classroom. I am asking environment. Road. Yes, roads. Right. House hotels mentioned. Trees. Is it a non-living thing? Yeah. It's a living thing. Remember, that's a living thing. Vehicles. Rocks. Yes. Now we can mention rocks, mountains. Clouds, sun, planets, water. Right now, those things. Rivers. Right. Okay. Then you can mention things which do not have living features. What do we call it? Non-living things. Right. Remember that. Living things. Living things are all around us. 
We are living things. Animals are living things. Plants are living things too. What makes something a living thing? Living things eat, breathe, grow, and make more of itself. Can you think of an example of a living thing? Animals are living things. There are many different types of animals. They all look different, but they all have one thing in common. They are all living things. Humans are living things too, and so are plants. Plants are living things because they breathe, eat, grow, and make more of themselves. Plants need food and water to live. Plants make their food through photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a special word for how plants get their food. Photosynthesis is the way plants make their own food. Plants use the light from the sun to give them energy to make their own food. Plants grow like all living things and are alive. Non-living things do not eat, breathe, grow, or make more of themselves. Here are some examples of non-living things. Living things are all around us. We need to care for them and for each other. We can help all living things by caring for our environment. Our Earth is full of living things that rely on it to breathe, to eat, to grow, and to be a safe place for their young. We can help by recycling, cleaning up, not littering, and showing respect for wildlife by giving them a place to live. Together, we can make the world a better place. Right, now look at here. Now within the living things, Lamai, that we can identify in our environment, who are living things? Those who have living features. For oh, life functions, what are they? Growth, respiration, excretion, nutrition, the things doing those we call that. What are they? Living things. Now these living things we divide into three groups. Remember how many groups? Three groups. Right? We are dividing into three groups. What are they? Yeah. One is equal plants. What is that? Plant. Number two, animal. Number three, microorganisms. Who are they? Plants, animal, and microorganisms. Right, you can identify there are so many plants in the environment as well as so many animals in the environment. And these are we called as microorganisms. Who are microorganisms? Ah, Tudragiri. Right, the word is, what is that? You can write, that is new word for you. Right? They are called as who are microorganisms? How do we explain this? Yes? Can we see them? That means organisms who cannot be seen to our naked eye. What I? Naked eye. What is naked eye? Without using any equipment, we can't see it. We can't see them when they are taken individually. Right? They are we called as, what are they? Microorganisms. Do you know this microorganism type? No. These are we called bacteria. What is this one? These days now there is a camp going on to clean up the environment. Why? Yesterday mentioned in the news source. Why people cleaning the environment rapidly these days? There is a disease. Why the disease spreading on these days? Not corona. What is that? Dengue. Dengue is a virus. These are viruses. What is this one? Mushrooms. 
That is we call fungi. Oh, fungi. Then, right? Here we can identify algae. Right? So remember, very special living things we divide into how many groups? Three groups. What are they? Plants, animals, and microorganisms. Who are they? Plants. Animals, microorganisms. Now I will give you an article. Right now, this one we couldn't do in the orientation session. Here indicating that day three, I hope to do this one. Right? Okay. I keep this one also. Thank you. Okay, right. Then tell me who are yes, who are microorganisms? Right, you can mention how the microorganisms kill again. Yes, living organisms who cannot be seen through our naked eye, right? Are called microorganisms. You can write in the page, that the page also, microorganisms. You wrote the note, no? Right, you can mention this page also. Maybe you can clear that. But then, living organisms who cannot be seen, now what is the most important word here? Lama? What the most important thing? Yes, cannot be seen through our yes, naked dye. We are here happy in the summer. We have naked dye here. What do we call that term? Naked dye means here we have new word. Okay, if it is a new word, you can write it there, right? Then the living organisms who cannot be seen through our naked eye, we call them as microorganisms. Microorganisms. Right. Yes, highlight that one. That is a very important part here. What is that? Cannot be seen, not only that, through our naked eye. But the most important word, this one. Right there. Here, naked eye. That is the very important thing. Okay. Right. Some microorganism that can be observed uh, in water taken from a pond. That means by using a microscope, we can observe the microorganisms. Who are they? One is we call amoeba. Who are they? This is we call amoeba. Now within the diagram also there is an amoeba here. You can label. This one is amoeba. Right? Don't you write it? But put it write this paper. So. Right, later at home, write in the book, right? Amoeba here, that mentioned to here. Amoeba. Number two, what is this one? This is bacteria. How do we identify rod shape? Some bacteria, there are several types. Rod shape, then round shape, that is we call focus. And uh, spiral shape and comma shape. Four types they are in bacteria. What are they? Rod shape, round shape, comma shape, then spiral shape. Okay. Right, number three, Chlamydomonas, a kind of algae. 
This is we call what is that? Flammy domonas. What is that? Flammy. Yes, you can remember the spelling is Flammy domonas. Right, Flammy domonas. Right. And other one we call Paramecium. What is that? Paramecium. Now, within the diagram here, you can identify paramecium. Paramecium. This is amoeba, this is paramecium. Both right there. What is number two within the diagram? What is mentioning in there? Number two. That is virus put it. Virus. V I R U S. Number two. V I R U S. Virus. What is number three? Fungi. F U N G I. Okay. Bacteria. Okay. Right. Now, next day we can uh, write this word for dictation. What are they? Amoeba. When you write amoeba, remember A M O E B A. Yes. Four silent here. They make up your OM key when they have a little bit of OM. Amoeba. Four silent. Right? Okay. These organisms we can identify there. Where we can identify? Within the right, especially when we take water samples okay, from the fresh water pond, we can identify especially chlamydomonas. Now that we in the pool, chlamydomonas, right? They look at here the compound microscope. What is this one we call? Compound microscope, right? Is used to observe the things cannot be seen with our naked eye. Who cannot be seen through our naked eye? Who cannot be seen? Microorganism. Then what is the device we use to make that to observe the microorganisms? That is we call as what is that? Compound. Microscope. Can we see the microorganism through our naked eye? No. Then we use the optical device. What is the optical device? Yes, that is we call what is that? Compound microscope. By using compound microscope, now we can take a small drop of water that we taken from the fresh water. Then we can place it on this. Stage and observe through the microscope. Right? Then we can observe through the microscope. Then we can observe the microorganisms. Right? Now look at this video. Observe that. To discover that some of the best specimens can be found at a low I can take you some sample from freshwater pond. Back in the classroom, an eyedropper is used to deposit a drop of water onto a glass slide. Now they are putting on the glass slide. The slide is then covered with a cover slip. A small flower slip, not their glass. Small glass. It is then placed on a microscope stage beneath two clips. That single drop of water is teeming with life. These are protozoa, organisms consisting of a single cell. This one is called an amoeba. The amoeba. It moves by sending yeah. out pseudopods or false feet consisting of cell material. These belong to a group called paramecium. They're feeding on pond debris. In dark fields, you can see their bodies take on the color of the green algae they are eating. Paramecia move by beating their cilia, 
which are hair-like strands visible here along their yeah, outer edges. Really a this one is called stentorus. If you look closely, you can see the cilia that line the outside of its large mouth. The cilia are used in swimming and food gathering. This board of sala uses its cilia to create water currents that pull in food. Larger organisms like these green algae get caught in the current as well, but are not consumed. This deleptus feeds by waving its trunk back and forth through the water, hoping to draw in organisms. The daphnia is a common multicellular organism you find in pond water. It moves by flicking its large antennae. The planaria is a common flatworm you might run across. The hydra has tentacles lined with sharp barbs that attach themselves to prey. Once caught, the victim is then stuffed into the hydra's mouth, located at the base of its tentacles. Right. Now, many organisms we can identify, but remember, what are the organisms we can observe through the uh, by observing the pen pond water? One is we can observe Chlamydomonas. We can observe Paramecia. We can observe Euglena. Right? Those organisms we can observe through the microscope. Right? Remember that. Then here. Uh, again, we mentioned that one, no? Right. The living organisms basically we divide into three groups. What are they? One is plants. Number two, animals. Right? Nice animals. Number three, microorganisms. Right? These are the three. What are they? One is people, plants, other one, animals, and other one, microorganisms. Okay, look at here. Right, now we are going to discuss about characteristics. What is the word? Characteristics. Tell me another similar word for that one. Characteristics O we call as features. Sade? Features. That means what is the meaning of that one? Yes. What are they? Lakshana. Lakshana name. Lakshana. Lakshana the organism means. Right? That means characteristics of organisms. Number one, we call what is that? Growth. Growth means increase in their size. Now, here we can mention increase in size, height, or amount. What is that? Size, height, or amount. Height, take a in the pulua. Size, take a in the pulua. Amount, take a in the pulua. That is called as what is that? Oh. Now, you are saying that uh, can you wear a shoe that you already that uh, worn in your childhood? Why? Because your body parts are also growing. Right? 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 Why? Your body parts also growing with the time. Can you wear the clothes that you used in that your early stages? No. Then here, growth is a common feature. What is common feature? Yes? Right? Common feature of organism. So, there is no growth in non-living things. If this uh, building is growing? Yes or no? No. If this pen is growing? No, they are not growing because that is Non-living thing. The non-living things are not showing growth. Remember. Okay? Right. 
Now maintain the new words there. Right, next one. Examples. Now what are the examples for the growth? Now you know that we are also growing. Now you are growing day by day. If that means during the lifetime you are growing. We can't, we have to make a taller building. So I, every day growing. It won't happen. Up to 20 years we are growing. Yes, like 18, 20 years. During that time we are growing from the birth. After that, do we grow? No, we maintain our body. So remember, when we mention that uh, animals, their growth is limited. Once it gets matured, it won't grow further. That is limited. Now here you can see eggs, then chick, then here young cock, then adult cock. Then here growth of plant. Small plant germinates, making a small plant, then gradually increase in the height. Lama and animal growth is a limited one. Animal growth is limited. Do we grow every day? No. But plants are, they are growing unlimited. Their growth is unlimited. They every day during their lifetime, they are growing. So there is a difference between plants and animals. One difference. What is that? Animal growth is limited. Plant growth is unlimited. What is the difference? Animal growth is limited. Plant growth is unlimited. Did you paste this diagram? Can we write it here? What is that? Limited. Okay, what are the limited can? Sima, Sahita, and limited here. Here, what we have right? Unlimited. Right? Limited growth, 